Hello class and welcome to our presentation, God and Morality. Now throughout this presentation, I'm going to ask us to consider a central question. What is the relationship between God and morality? That is, does God equal morality? Does God not equal morality? Is God the source of morality? Or is morality the source of God? Do they have nothing to do with each other? So again, what exactly is the relationship between God and morality? So in this presentation, we are going to consider four things. We're going to talk about what is called Euthyphro's Dilemma, Divine Command Theory. We're going to have a, or draw a few conclusions, and then we will talk briefly about the Abraham-Isaac Dilemma, which we will focus on in the next presentation. So what is Euthyphro's Dilemma? Well, Euthyphro's Dilemma is one of the most ancient kind of commentaries upon this question of what is the relationship between God and morality. And Euthyphro's Dilemma refers to a philosophical theological problem found in Plato's dialogue called Euthyphro. And in the dialogue, the young aristocrat Euthyphro and the Greek master Socrates discuss the question, what is holiness? And in this discussion, they confront the following dilemma. What makes things holy or good? That is, are things holy and good because the gods love them? Or do the gods love these things because they are holy and good? Now, personally, when I first started studying this, this um, dilemma made my head spin. So let's try to kind of break it down in the next slide. All right, so let's say a fireman um, saves a cat from a burning building. So Moses would say, okay, well, this is a good thing. Well, why is it a good thing? All right, what is the source of this goodness? That is, if you take a look at the left, is saving a cat from a burning building holy or good because the gods say that it is holy or good? Or is saving a cat from a burning building intrinsically good or holy, and that is why the gods say that it is good? In other words, who or what determines what is holy or good? Do the gods determine this, or does nature determine this? So again, who determines it, the gods or nature? Now, Euthyphro's dilemma was revitalized in the 17th century when Christian philosopher Gottfried Leibniz asked the question, are things good because God wills it, or does God will them because they are good? So again, does nature determine goodness and then God just kind of likes those things or does God determine what is good and what is evil? So according to divine command theory, who or what determines what is good or holy? God does. So according to divine command theory, God as the all powerful lawgiver determines what is good and what is evil. So things and actions are not good in themselves, but rather God makes them good. All right, let's go uh, over an example. So the example we're going to use is that of charity, that is giving money to someone who is homeless or in need. So who or what determines whether this action is good or not, according to divine command theory? So divine command theorists argue that, okay, what determines or who determines that charity is good? God determines it. So God commands people to be charitable to others, and then people do it, and therefore they get this feeling that they are doing something good. Why? Because they are following a universal moral law that has been put into their minds by God to practice charity. So again, nature doesn't determine that charity is good. God determines that charity is good. Now, according to divine command theorists, God's commands manifest themselves in two different ways. One, God creates what is called a universal moral law. That is specific rules that human beings, all human beings are obligated to follow. 
And one example of this would be the Ten Commandments or the kind of ten rules uh, regarding how human beings are to be in relationship to God and in relationship to other human beings. And secondly, God's commandments manifest themselves in the form of natural law. So not only does God set up a divine moral law for human beings to follow, but God also sets up a natural law that all things in the universe are to follow. All right, so in conclusion, with respect to Euthyphro's dilemma, divine command theory argues that God determines what is holy and good, not nature. How so? Because God is the author of a universal moral law, for example, the Ten Commandments, not nature. So nature did not uh, create the Ten Commandments, God did. And because God created natural law, and thus God governs the natural world, not vice versa. So nature does not create what is good. Um, rather, you know, in the natural world, God creates what is good in the natural world and not the opposite. Now, like all theories, um, divine command theory is not unproblematic. There are indeed theological problems that arise from this theory. And one of these problems is what we call the Abraham-Isaac dilemma, which is something that we're going to tackle in our next slideshow.